Hey, can I ask you something? <laughs> oh. What's up guys, welcome back to Dakota Diesel. In the last episode, we installed 26 inch American Forces on my always broken LBZ. And on this episode, we're gonna install a cheap Harbor Freight winch and see how it performs. But first, we have to start this thing somehow. It's negative 17 today. And no matter what I've tried, it will not start. <laughs> I even did an exorcism and sprinkled holy water on it. Nothing. Well, I guess that's all it takes. Before we install this 12,000 pound Badlands winch from Harbor Freight and put it through a torture test, let me tell you what it's like to own 26 inch American forces. They're actually really terrible in the winter because they get packed with snow and then the balance is all off and if you go over 40 miles an hour they feel like they're about to rip off so you got to clean them out all the time. It throws an insane amount of rocks everywhere when you're driving down a gravel road. Basically, I won't take this thing down a gravel road ever. It just throws rocks straight into the cab. It sounds like it's sandblasting the truck. The offset is negative 78. Plus, on these Chevys, you have to put a two inch spacer on the back, otherwise the front is gonna stick out further than the back. So it shoots up all the road grime all the salt all over your truck, it's almost not drivable. It's actually terrifying to look at. Why would anybody do something like this in a truck that's a diesel that doesn't go to work? I know a lot of people are gonna hate it, but I can't make everybody happy. I can only make myself happy and then share it with people. And besides, I already have a daily driver. I've got this Ram, it's completely bone stock, and it does everything I need to do as far as pulling and trips and nasty weather. So this truck was already impractical way before the American Forces. It has a lift, a billet trans, and compound turbos, and I'll probably never pull with it unless I'm pulling like my 03 Cobra to a show or something like that. So it's just a toy. So why did I do it? Because life is short and I'm having fun. Let's go install this winch and put it through a torture test. But is this truck a little bit of a pimp mobile with these wheels? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
hide in front of hollow cat. All right, I did a little bit of a montage because I think anybody who's watching a car enthusiast channel can figure out how to put a winch on. But let me know in the comments below. Do you want this to be more of a how-to channel? Anyways, this is the old Impala that I gave my buddy who was working for me and he needed to get around. But he ended up getting a DUI in it. So it's been sitting here for a long time. It's got 220,000 miles on it. And we're gonna test this winch out on this car. I hope I don't rip this bumper off. I'm not whistling diesel. This is my baby. Testing my Harbor Freight winch, take one. <laughs> this mirror is no match for a Harbor Freight winch. <laughs> All right, that was an easy one. So let's try something a little bit harder. Let's try to pull this up a tree. Is it going to lift? I have no idea. I do not want to wreck my truck, but. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> there it is. It worked. <laughs> All right. Well, clearly the Harbor Freight winch is a good buy because it can pull a car up a tree. Uh, it's not a sponsored video, but now that the car slipped over, we got to get the Ram to uh, get it right sided up. I mean, it has a Hemi, so let's do it. I already see a fray in it. <laughs> you had it. Huh? You had Ready? Oh! I really like the performance of the Harbor Freight winch. Uh, I think it's pretty good, but. Maybe if I didn't spend all my money on wheels, I could afford something really expensive. But it's unfortunate for the car that it landed on upside down. Otherwise, I think it would have been totally fine. A couple scrape marks here and there, but nothing too bad. So this car was going to get scrapped anyway, so don't worry. I mean, it's been sitting so long now that I don't think it would even start. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, give me a like or subscribe. Thanks. Bye.